Hey there, God bless you. I have such a word from the Lord today. I encourage you to stay all the way through because, wow, what a word from God. So I'm going to jump right in. I was in prayer and the Lord showed me a vision of a man that was building a fire. He was twisting a rod in his hands. I want to make sure I say it was a rod and not a stick. As he was twisting it, he blew onto the smoke that it created. I knew that this man represented the Lord. I was immediately amazed at the beginning of this fire. All I saw was a little bit of smoke, but I knew what this man was capable of. Something that is all-consuming, an all-consuming fire. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I didn't expect this, but the smoke, the beginnings of that fire represented the beginning of wisdom, the fear of the Lord. That must be why I'm seeing a rod specifically. And the Lord is speaking to me now. When you ask for wisdom, prepare for conviction. You will enter into a time of repentance. A time of turning away from. The purifier's fire will come all around you. If you ask for wisdom, be prepared to make some intentional changes. Wow, wisdom is necessary to build your future. Some of you are set to walk into what looks like a war zone in my spirit. If you read through Proverbs, you'll see uh, similar sentiments about wisdom and your future. I encourage you as a sister, start submitting now. What I'm seeing is stirring me and challenging me. I think sometimes we assume that what we're walking into is a blank canvas, but I was seeing a war zone in my spirit. I saw cities that had been decimated, land that was barren, shelters that didn't exist. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Okay, I just mentioned there being shelters that didn't exist. Proverbs 24 tells us a house is built by wisdom. It is established by understanding. If you would like to agree with this prayer, expecting and understanding that the refiner's fire will soon follow, you can join me. Lord, help us. Give us wisdom. We desire to fear you in a way that pleases you. And we submit to your ways. Lord, we submit to your ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. So be it. Wow. Praise God. It's just that simple. God bless you. Praise God. Talk soon.